Well, hundreds of people are expected to filter into Concrete Street Amphitheater tonight for a big concert featuring some major star power in town. We're talking about Rob Zombie and Corn. Fans are already lining up, and that is where we find our Mike De Silva tonight. And Mike, you actually got to interview one of those stars. That's right. I got to interview Rob Zombie earlier today, and soon we'll be hearing from him in just a moment. But folks here are getting really excited. You can see the long lines. We're getting close to this show. Doors officially open at 6 o'clock, but they're trying to open the gate maybe around 5.45 if they can. Scar the Martyr is on at 7. Rob Zombie comes on at 8. And then Corn comes on at 9.40. Now, as I mentioned earlier today, I had the chance to interview Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie wears many hats, as his fans know. In addition to being a heavy metal rock star, Zombie is also well known for directing horror films, such as House of a Thousand Corpses, The Devil's Rejects, the remake of Halloween, and Lords of Salem, just to name a few. Now, Zombie tells me that he loves movies and music equally because they're so different. I asked him what it is about the horror genre that he loves so much, and I asked him if he has a favorite movie director. I don't know. I mean, I just always loved it. I mean, ever since I was a kid, I think because having analyzed this question many times, I think it's because when I was a little kid, the, you know, what were essentially horror movies were things like Frankenstein and Dracula and King Kong. And there was always sort of the, the misunderstood monster. So there was always a sympathy factor. And I think I identified it with that as a kid. It fluctuates. I mean, sometimes it's Fellini. Sometimes it's Bergman. I don't know. I like all kinds of stuff. So I'm all over the place. You know, every time I watch a movie, I go, this guy's genius. <laughs> so there's a lot of great directors. I love a lot of people. Cool. Different, you know, movies are usually locked away in a vacuum, you know, making, working on it. You don't really interact, but when you're on tour and, you know, playing Now, Zombie all, grew up in Massachusetts, and he told me that the Salem Witch Trials were always an interest for him, and that's what really spurred the idea for The Lords of know. Salem, the movie and the book, which Bill will be getting into shortly here in the next story. Now, we should mention that tickets are still available. So if you want one, come on down. You can buy it right at the box office. Bill? A lot of people people out there. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks, Mike. Thank well, earlier today, fans showed up in big numbers to Barnes & Noble to meet Rob Zombie. The line went out the door and around the corner at the store. Rob Zombie is signing copies of his companion book to the Lords of Salem movie. Zombie also taking photos with his fans. Fans we spoke with drove from as far away as Houston and San Antonio to meet the star. We're from San Antonio and we had gone to see Rob Zombie oh, a couple of years ago and then he hasn't been back since, I don't think. And so we heard that he was c coming down to Corpus, so we took the drive down here. And we're a fan of the book and a couple of his movies that he's made that we've seen. And of metal in general. <laughs> Just his music, his screaming vocals, his loud guitars, his thundering bass and you know thumping drums keeps me coming back this one came out so good that i wanted to come by and give it to him meet him and give it to him to say everybody always wants something from him it'd be nice to somebody actually gave him something most like metal sounds generic and his just doesn't sound like the others and zombie telling three news he loves getting the opportunity to meet and interact